How's it going, y'all? This is Douglas, and today I'm going to be covering the full Warrior set. It's finally been officially revealed, and I gotta say, I'm absolutely excited to play this this entire set. It's uh, pivoted towards a specific minion type. Spoilers, you know, it's on the screen, but Drain Eye Warrior seems like a overall good package. There's one card in particular that I don't necessarily understand, so let me know in the comment section below what you think of that card. And I'm still doing a giveaway for the Tavern Pass for the new expansion. If we hit 200, 200,000, whoa, if we hit if we hit 2 million subs, no, if we hit 200 subs um, by the end of the launch date, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So all you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe on the Druid video where I talk about those cards. I really, really appreciate it, y'all. Peace. All right, let's take a look at the Warrior cards. First up, we have the Unyielding Vindicator. It's a 4 mana 5-4. With the battle cry, the next strain you play gives your hero its attack for that turn. So are they doing like a hero attack for warrior? Like a like a full package that every time you play a drain eye, it gives you a certain hero, it gives your warrior that much attack? Interesting. On its own, I think it's a good card. It says the next strain you play, right? It's not this one. So you have to you have to prep for it. Uh but man, if you get like a decent prep turn, you could you could swing face for a lot, right? Assuming that's the game plan for warrior. Right now it seems good. Four mana five four with the with a d decent effect after if you're building a whole package around it. That seems pretty good. Okay, next up we have the Captain's Log. It's a four mana spell. It draws two cards, costs one less for each drain eye you're controlling. Oh shit. Uh oh man, this is good. I think this is good. You know, looking at the neutral cards from this expansion, there's a lot of cheap cost drain eyes. So and a lot of those effects give you like uh like the future effect, right? Like when the next time you play a Draenei, it does something. So, man, this seems good. There's no way to summon Draenei's, right? As far as I'm aware. But this seems like a really, really good card, man. It costs one less, right? You play this for two mana at worst case scenario. Or you play it at three mana, right? It's arcane intellect at worst. Yeah, this seems this seems good, man. Seems like a good a good card draw for Warrior. Pivoting around the style of, of Draenei Warrior, right? So it seems good. Seems like an auto include. Okay, next up we have the Hostile Invader. Man, that art is sick, dude. Look at that art, bro. Whoa. It's a 5 mana 3 5 demon. Battle Cry, Spell Burst, and Death Rattle. Deal 2 damage to all other minions. Wow. Um. Damn, I think this is a good card, man. I think this is a decent uh, control card to all other minions, right? So you have to be aware of that effect if you have minions on the board. Um then they're going to die as well. But I see this being included in a control deck, man. Yeah, it's 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 effectively six damage uh, for five mana, right? For all minions. It just, you just have to trigger all the effects. And it's not that hard. Battle Cry is easy. A spell Burst is easy as well. And Death Rattle, it's, it's willing, it's going to die, right? So eventually you'll trigger the effects. Um, even if you don't trigger the spell Burst, if you get Battle Cry and Death Rattle, I think this is a good card, man. Uh, really, really cool card. And I particularly like the art a lot. So yeah, probably not including a control deck. I don't see it slotting anywhere else. If this was like maybe in Rage Warrior, but that's not really a thing nowadays, right? Okay, next up we have Jettison. Oh, damn. Look at that. They're throwing out all their junk. It's funny. It discovers a spell. Spend two armor to discover a not. Whoa, spend two armor? Wow. Interesting. It's not lose, it's a spend. That's a cool mechanic, man. Let's utilize more of, of Warrior's uh, armor for, for mechanics like this, man. Discovering a spell and using your armor to discover another one. That is sick, dude. I really, really like that idea. Even if it's not good, I just really, really like the idea of using your armor to discover cards. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. And the art is pretty neat as well. Next up, we have a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. So they're not getting star pieces, right? Uh, doesn't look like it. Crystalline, Great Maze. After your hero attacks, give all Drey Knight in your hand plus two attack. Ooh, damn, this is good, man. We just saw this has immediate synergy with this card. That that's good, man. That that's good, right? Uh, yeah, this is an auto include for those for the Drey Knight deck, right? For all Drey Knight in your hand. I'm assuming you're gonna have a ton of Drey Knight in your hand. You play you play the the mana card that you got. You can play Captain's Log, right? You play the Drain Eye. Dude, this is a good card, man. And if the, the game plan around Drain Eye Warrior is to get like a bunch of attack on your on your hero and then swing face, kind of like Hero Power did back back in the days. Back in the days, it was like like a year ago or something. 
um yeah man this is this is a good card like the full package that warriors getting is really really good i i want to try this i want to try this thing out dude wow this looks good i really really like this card and the whole the whole game plan around warrior next up we have the expedition target it's a three mana three four the next drain you play immediately attacks a random enemy oh shit a random enemy Ooh, yeah i guess the whole game plan is swinging face right or oh man so let's say you play this and then you play the other card that sets up well this is good man yeah this is a... maybe i can't wrap my brain around it completely but this is a good card you're gonna be buffing your your drain knight naturally with your weapon you're gonna be drawing with the captain's log it's interesting the mechanic it's all about the next drain you play right it's like the future uh, a lot of the neutral cards do that like the next drain you has has rush uh give it life steal or whatever it has a random bonus effect uh the stats are whatever right three mana three four it's the standards three mana nowadays but yeah oh man this, the fact that it says enemy is good if there's no minions on the board or if you can clear out the board to swing face yeah dude this is a good card if you have you have a strong drain eye with a bunch of attack dude it's gonna be dangerous yeah good card man really really good card next up we have the stalwart avenger holy shit it's a four mana seven two drain eye immune while attacking at the end of each turn swap this minions attack and hell damn dude this is a scary card Im again immediate synergy dude you play this crystalline you play this and boom 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 dude oh i'm gonna try this deck out dude the th this whole package to me if it doesn't work i'm gonna be really sad but i really 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 like the idea of this of this warrior deck Man, this is a good card. The fact that it says immune while attacking. And it's at the end of each turn, right? So it's going to switch back and forth. Switch back and forth. You have to be aware of that. Cool, man. Cool freaking card, dude. Man, this is a good card, I think. If you can give this health and lifesteal. Oh, man, there's a card that gives uh, the next Draenei you play plus two, uh, plus two health and rush, dude. Nah, Draenei Warrior is going to be a package, dude. Y'all need to watch out for these cards. Oh, my God. Look at the art on this thing. Oh. <gasps> holy shit this looks sick dude no that is sick okay we have a 10 mana spell dwarf planet fill your board with random two cost minions that attack random enemies oh god oh my god bro they freaking killed it with this art unbelievable art man holy shit now now for the spell uh let's not evaluate the art the art is amazing but fill your board with random two cost minions that attack random enemies i don't know if this is good man it's not like it's not like warrior has permanent uh stat buffs right for for cart that carts that are summoned or whatever so i don't know how you you, you utilize this card i mean if you ramp enough and then yeah i don't know i really really don't see the utility around this card let me know in the comment section below if there's a deck around this or or how you actually play this card. But the fact that it's two cost minions, that's low, dude. Those are those are some little babies, man. Attacking the board or face. It says face. It says enemies, right? So they can go face. Uh, who knows? Maybe the card pool for two cost minions is good enough that you want to play this to close the game out. But god damn, dude, the art is unbelievable on this thing. Next up, we have Exart Akama. It's a 5 mana 3 6. After this attacks, all other friendly minions can attack again. Ooh, oh my god, bro. No, 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 no. This card's a problem, dude. This is a problem. There's that that there's that neutral card, dude. The next drain eye. Uh again, the next drain eye you play has rush. No, dude. If you set the right you set the right board up with XR to comma, dude, you're gonna eradicate your opponent. Okay, this to me looks like a day one craft, dude wow this is a dangerous dangerous card it's five mana five mana is kind of cheap for what you're trying to pull off dude if you hand if you hand buff a lot of the uh or if you buff a lot of the drain eyes in your hand with just attack and your plan is to close out the game and not exactly control the board dude man i'm scared i'm I, loki kind of scared for warrior but it seems good man it seems really really good art is sick like always oh my god that signature is sick dude no i need that signature dude hopefully i get lucky and get this signature but you know i've gotten pretty lucky with signature drops i have a few of them and i'm i consider myself now a free-to-play player 
don't really buy too much of the the bundles or anything but wow dude this art is sick man i think that's gonna i think this card's gonna be good i think this card's gonna be good and the last card we're looking at is or empress moldara damn look at that art dude this looks sick damn it's a six mana six seven oh start of game effect shuffle seven replicating spores into your deck what what the hell are these spores five mana replicating spore summon a random five cost meaning your future replicating spore summon it as well whoa seven of them huh this is cool i mean it's a passive effect right you just have to play this in your in your deck right and you get a, a, a passive effect that just summons a five cost minions and each time you get a spore it replicates the same minion and it does it again and again and again um is this card not freaking incredible to me uh, am i am i seeing something do i have like stockholm syndrome or something but this card seems like an auto include for any deck dude okay the the one issue right is i guess the one issue is you know if it was cast um, when you draw it, then yeah, it would be it would be a huge problem, right? But you you have to play the five mana spell. The only problem that I can see from this card is you shuffle seven five cost cards to your deck, right? And that could be a bit of a problem. Now, now all of a sudden you have a bigger deck and your card draw is going to be a uh, kind of sacrifice, right? To you make space for these spores. So it, I think it's good. I still think it's good, man. Uh, just the effect of it is good enough. Um, it's at the start of a game, right? It's not a battle cry. It's not a death battle. So you can immediately start drawing them. So yeah, I think it's good at the expense of limited card draw in the sense that your your deck is bigger now, right? So you're going to have problems finding specific cards that you need to close out the games. But it doesn't seem like that's a problem with Prince Renathal. So yeah, dude, this warrior package seems freaking, freaking good. Like, for example, I wouldn't want to play this... Um, I wouldn't want to play this in my Draenei Warrior deck because I feel like it would limit my pool of cards to draw, right? Because there's just uh, there's a bunch of spores. Oh, it's kind of ironic, right? <laughs> That's cool. It's, it's kind of uh, ironic as well. This is a good card, man. Maybe not in Draenei Warrior, but overall, I think it's a good card. You know what? In general, the whole package looks incredible, dude. Exar to Kama seems like a huge problem. I don't necessarily understand this card, but the art is out of this world, dude. It's out of this planet. Stalwart Avenger is, is a crazy card, man. Expedition Sergeant seems really, really good. Crystalline Great Maze. Jettison. Yeah, man, this seems really, really good. You play Valen, it triggers all the battle cries and death rattles. Um, let me find the neutral card that I'm referring to. Right here. Is the Stranded Space, man. Dude, this is going to be a huge enabler for the Warrior deck. The next drain how you play gains plus two health and rush. And a lot of the cards that uh, that warrior depends on depend on attacking immediately, right? So you set this up, you play the next card, dude. Warrior is gonna be a big, big problem, well. Warrior is gonna be a big, big problem, y'all. So that was the warrior set review. I gotta say, I'm really, really excited for this package. So far, the from the cards I've seen, I'm really, really excited for Elemental Mage and Draenei Warrior. Man, I, I just wanna. Oh. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm currently doing a giveaway for the Tavern Pass. If we manage to hit 2,000, 2,000, 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel, all you got to do is watch and comment on the YouTube, on the Druid video in the description above and below. Appreciate y'all. Peace.